Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the practical skills that are needed to be performed the sural nerve mobility testing. This test examines the mechanical functions and mechanosensitivity of the sural nerve that is a pure sensory nerve and is formed from the branches of the tibial and the common peroneal nerve. Now sural nerve travels along the posterior lateral part of the leg and then it goes behind the lateral medullus and enters the lateral part of the foot and therefore for any patient who complains of pain or any other symptom along the posterior lateral part of the leg ankle and foot this test can be performed another interesting thing about the sural nerve is that it can be most commonly involved in patients who have lateral ankle sprains so the testing position of the patient and therapist is going to be remaining the same as that for the common peroneal nerve testing now the therapist after assuming a wide stride standing position is just going to reverse the grip as that were used for the peroneal nerve mobility testing that that is the corded hand in the peroneal nerve was positioned in this manner and the separate hand was over the tibial plateau now we are just going to reverse this grip so what the corded hand is now going to do is from this position it is just going to come over the tibial plateau to prevent the knee flexion movement whereas the separate hand is going to grab the medial portion of the foot so that with a lumbrical grip so that it can produce the dorsiflexion and inversion movement so now after producing the dorsiflexion and inversion movement with the cephalad hand the therapist is just going to add the slr movement to this ankle dorsiflexion and inversion and this is going to sensitize the sural nerve now the sensitizing movements for this test can also be the hip internal rotation movement hip adduction movement as well as the contralateral movement of the lumbar spine the normal response to the sural nerve mobility testing is just the stretching or pulling sensation along the posterior lateral part of the leg and the lateral part of the foot. Please note that the sensitizing movements that is the hip internal rotation or the hip adduction movements should only be utilized by the therapist if the standard testing does not produce or reproduces the patient's symptoms. So I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to help you all in performing the Sural Nerve Mobility Testing. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.